The iOS App Store and the Google Play Store can be extremely powerful and lucrative acquisition channels. If you get the App Store optimization right, you'll maximize your visibility and downloads from the app stores. Now this is the first thing you should focus on as part of your user acquisition strategy. The ability to tap into existing audience of smartphone users of the app stores makes this an extremely high ROI play. The first thing to pay attention to is your title and app description. Your app listings copy is the first place to start. This is important for a few main reasons, for getting people to click on your app listing from search results, for converting viewers into downloads, and for SEO. Titles should be unique and descriptive and contain your most important keywords. Now, Apple gives you more characters to work with than Google, so for the Play Store title in particular, it needs to be short and sharp. Your app description is another place to add important keywords related to your app, but it's also vital that you describe your app clearly here and explain to the reader why they should download it. The next thing to focus on is keywords. It's vital for app store optimization to find the right keywords and insert them into the right places. Keywords are how people find your app in search results when someone is searching for something related to your app. You want it to show up, which means you need to mention the search term somewhere in your app listing copy. Now you want to take some time to do keyword research and find the best keywords to prioritize. Now you're looking for search terms that have a lot of search volume, have relatively low competition, and are relevant to your app. The best keywords are those that describe exactly what your app does or the problem it solves. Put your most important keywords in your title, followed by putting them prominently in your app description. However, you want to avoid keyword stuffing or putting keywords in your copy that don't read well. This will just result in your listings being penalized or rejected or if it gets through, it will hurt your conversion rates. Find a balance between including the right keywords and writing copy that is descriptive, engaging, and conversion optimized. Now let's talk about screenshots. Screenshots are another extremely important part of your app store listing. Most of us take a very short time to decide whether we want to download an app after landing on the listing. The first thing we see is the app's screenshots. These need to stand out and give a user a reason to download. And the best practice is to show some images of your app in action with text that describes a few key value points. Most of us take a very short time to decide whether we want to download an app after landing on the listing. The next thing you wanna focus on is your app icon. Your app icon design is another thing that makes a huge difference. When people view your app for the first time, what they see is your app icon and your app title. So you want to make sure that your app icon is great. Your icon should be eye-catching and engaging, representative of your app and your brand. You want to make sure that it's not too similar to other apps and follows the app store's standards and requirements. Now let's talk about reviews. Reviews are another extremely important part of app store optimization. They help you gain more visibility as well as help you boost conversions by showing potential users that your app is worth downloading. Do all you can to encourage honest, positive reviews. You can do this by adding automatic rating prompts in app, as well as reaching out directly to app users and asking them to share their feedback in a review. Another thing that can get your app seen is getting featured on app stores. The pinnacle of app store optimization is if you're able to get your app in the app store or Google Play stores featured or top sections. This gives you a huge boost in visibility and downloads, as well as social proof. While there isn't an 100% way to get your app featured, you can follow some of the best practices to increase your chances. Now there's not really any tricks to it other than creating a great app that users love, but extra points if your app does something that's innovative and unique. The Google Play Store offers guidance on how to get your apps featured and promoted. Though there might be some differences in the wording, the core concept is the same with the iOS App Store and the Google Play Store. You just wanna make sure that you produce an app that delivers a ton of value, has a delightful user experience, is high technical quality and is private, safe, and secure. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope you learned something. And as always, my name is Jamarco and I will see you next time.